what really inspires me is what's going to be possible when our cars can begin talking to each other. Very soon, the same systems that we use today to bring music and, and entertainment and GPS information into our vehicles are going to be used to create a smart vehicle network. We need our best and our brightest to start entertaining this issue. Companies, entrepreneurs, venture capitalists, they all need to understand this is a huge business opportunity as well as an enormous social problem. When America began moving west, we didn't add more wagon trains, we built railroads. And to connect our country after World War II, we didn't build more two-lane highways, we built the interstate highway system. Today, we need that same leap in thinking for us to create a viable future. We are going to build smart cars, but we also need to build smart roads, smart parking, smart public tra transportation systems, and more. We don't want to waste our time sitting in traffic, sitting at toll booths, or looking for parking spots. We need an integrated system that uses real-time data to optimize personal mobility on a massive scale without hassle or compromises for travelers. And frankly, that's the kind of system that's going to make the future of, of personal mobility sustainable. Very soon, we're going to see the days when cars are essentially talking to each other. So if the car ahead of me in I-94 hits traffic, it will immediately alert my car and tell my car to reroute itself to get me home in the best possible way. And these systems are being tested right now, and frankly, they're going to be ready for prime time pretty soon. But the potential of a connected car network is almost li limitless. So just imagine, one day very soon, you're going to be able to plan a trip downtown, and your car will be connected to a smart parking system. So you get in your car, and as you get in your car, your car will reserve you a parking spot before you arrive. No more driving around looking for one, which frankly is one of the biggest uh, users of fuel in today's cars in, in urban areas, is looking for parking spots. Or think about being in New York City and tracking down an intelligent cab on your smartphone so you don't have to wait in the cold to hail one. We need that same kind of passion and energy to attack global gridlock. And we need people like all of you in this room, leading thinkers. I mean, frankly, I, I really need all of you to think about how you can help solve this, this huge issue. Uh, and we need people from all walks of life, not just inventors, we need policymakers uh, and government officials to also think about how they're gonna respond to this challenge. This isn't gonna be solved by any one person or one group. It's gonna really require a national energy policy, of, uh, frankly, for each country, because the solutions in each country are going to be different based upon income levels, traffic jams, and also how integrated the, the systems already are. But we need to get going, and we need to get going today. And we must have an infrastructure that's designed to support this flexible future.